Hey guys, what is up? This is Fritz, and this is a pretty cool tutorial. I kind of came up with this one by myself as well. Um, so what it is, it's pretty much this like uh, directional blur kind of look, I guess, but it's a little bit nicer. It kind of goes a little bit brighter. Um, I use it a lot for like if you're turning, like see that? It kind of adds like a nice little effect to it. Or after you shoot, you can do it as well. So um, there is other ways to replicate this, I, this like same thing, but it involves uh, an effect called wave warp. And I just find it's really, really laggy. So this one, you know, it's pretty straightforward. It renders really fast, um, as you can see. And uh, I've got motion blur and everything on it. So let's just jump into it. We're going to get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'll show you the two, uh, two ways that I use it. One is when you're turning. So we'll just go to this turn right here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is search uh, Minimax, which is right here under the channel um, slot, I guess. We're just going to throw it on there. And you can see already, uh, when we turn it on, we get this like weird cube thing. So we don't want that. We want to change the direction to just horizontal. And there we go. Now we get this nice little side scroll looking thing, I guess you could call it. So we're going to keyframe the radius. We're going to go over to in the middle of the turn. So that'd be right about there, I would say. We'll hit you on our keyboard to see it. Make it about 35. That's, that's a good number. Or maybe 30. We'll do 30 for now. And then we'll go to the end of the turn. Right, right about here, hit zero. Might adjust it a little bit. There we go. So there we go, and that's the that's that's the use for it. I mean, that's pretty much it. You just use it on the turns. I think it looks really nice. Um, another kind of thing that I like, I've seen it done before. I don't know if it's this exact effect, but I kind of like how it looks. Is we're gonna keyframe at zero, go over one frame, bring it up to about twenty five, uh, hold it that whole time, so right about here, and we'll go keyframe it again so it's a little diamond go over one more frame zero so if you weren't following or if I didn't explain that well it goes the keyframes I'll zoom in so you can see them better goes zero 25 holds it at 25 zero and if you do that you can go like to the music late like it's like dun, 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 and have it go like dun, 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 if that makes any sense like have it kind of pump in and out and it's kind of cool so that's a nice little over over edit effect and it's a good little effect just for like a nice little i don't know movement in your thing kind of makes it look more og so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed leave a like below and if you're new here don't forget to hit subscribe in the top if you enjoyed uh follow me on twitter like me on facebook and bye